What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. So we are going to get right into it. I started the reading, but the phone died, so we're starting right back. So you have the Princess of Swords, which is all about your mind. You guys have been standing up for yourself since young. I feel like you are tired. I feel like you have been standing up for yourselves and others. I feel like in school, you probably didn't really like to do your homework or you just wasn't really kind of engaged. It wasn't interesting to you. I feel like you've always stood up for the truth, but not for what looked good. So you may have gotten in trouble a lot. You might have liked to stand on the tables a lot is what I'm getting also. And you were just always that strong one out of your family. You was always that strong one out of your group and your friends. You was always that strong one and that leader in your romantic relationships also. I'm seeing a young energy. So I'm getting like this is from young. You've always felt like you had to scream to get your point across. I also felt like when you scream or when you finally got people to listen to you, things went your way. So you picked up on having to scream and act out for you to get your way. You didn't know the proper way to communicate is what I'm getting. And with this Queen of Cups, which is a therapist card, I'm getting someone being tired of having to scream to get their point across. I'm getting someone tired not being heard and having to act out. I'm getting someone that wants to be on the other side. You guys have been the therapist in a lot of people's lives. You guys have been the activist and the caretaker and the defender and the de protector in a lot of people's lives. And right now, you kind of want to switch the roles. You want to be this person that is being listened to. You want to be this person that is being understood. You want to be this person that someone is just being quiet and just trying to understand a certain part of you. I'm also getting strongly that you guys have a grandmother from the spiritual realm that has been looking over you, that has been watching over you since young. And that has been trying to connect with you to, to let you know that they have been seeing you and watching you being brave and setting your boundaries and really standing up for the truth and what's fear here. So if you don't feel supported, know that whoever passed on that has been um, a little bit of older age and that is a feminine is really, really has them and really, really watching you over the years as you've grown. Because remember, this is a child. This looks like a, a younger image. So over the years, as you've been acting out, over the years, you've been acting out in school. You haven't been wanting to do homework. You, When you got frustrated um, at when you were young, you used to throw things and just go, go crazy is what I'm getting. And you always had that grandmother where you felt safe with. Okay, where you felt protected. So that's a message for someone. And for others, you are just tired of having to scream and act out just because you want to be heard and get your point of cross. Because nine times out of ten, what you're saying is correct. Okay, you want to be that person that you want to be that person that inspires. Get inspired. Who's gonna inspire you if you're always the one who's inspiring? Who's going to help you when you just want to cry? Who's going to motivate you if you're the only one motivating here? Who's going to listen to you? Who are you going to feel comfortable with to receive advice? Someone that is wise. You want to be able to talk to and express your feelings with to someone that is going to be actually able to understand. Someone that is mature all right and don't forget and for others of you your grandmother has been watching you grow into a mature person and fighting for the truth and fighting what you believe in and you're, and you're actually breaking a lot of karmic generational curses that has been bestowed on your family because 
your loved ones didn't have the courage to stand up for what's right. So I see again, someone since young trying desperately to get their point across all the time, acting out because that's the only way they knew someone would listen. When they scream, when they throw stuff, when they engage in a low vibrational manner. So as young kids, when that's all you know how to get your way, as you grow and manifest through your life and screaming and arguments and fighting because you don't know how to communicate. You didn't know how to articulate yourself and use your throat chakra here. But now you do. Now you've gotten the hang of and comfortable with standing up for yourself in such a way standing up for others now you're able to speak your truth now you're setting boundaries but at times you want someone to just listen to you some of some of you guys may even have a therapist for real and for others this is what you are just yearning for someone to just listen to you someone that is going to be mature and wise and knowledgeable on the information they give you back you want no judgment when you speak your truth. You don't want to have to scream and choose violence for you to get your point across and for things to be fair. These cards are so big, y'all. Yes, yeah, so the Eight of Pentacles. You guys have been working so hard on speaking up for yourself at your job, speaking up for yourself around family members and friends. You guys have been working hard on yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and, and spiritually. But also, you guys have been focused on some type of idea, or some type of gift that you have. Maybe there's a work um, industry or some, some type of job or some type of craft that you've been really focusing on this season. And what I'm getting is that it's really going to go in your favor. And this family member that has passed on is going to make sure all your hard work and all the attention to detail that you have been putting into everything you've been working on, get seen and improved and approved. This being that has been watching you, because you here, this person in the spiritual room that has been watching you, this older person, this older feminine, has been watching you being so focused, even when you didn't want to do nothing. This spirit has been watching you being really attentive to your craft, to your gifts, to your spirituality, to the people around you. You've been playing, paying close attention to whatever it is that you manifest in here. You've been working day and night. You've been putting a lot of energy. You've been putting a lot of effort. And when I tell you it is not going unseen, somebody is watching you. And definitely it is an older feminine. You've been having to speak up for whatever you've been trying to do. You've been having to act out for whatever it is that you've been trying to do. You've been healing from trauma from young because all you knew how to do is scream and yell and fight just to get your point across. You believe, you believe in something. You believe in your dreams here. You believe, you believe in your aspirations here. You believe in something that you've been manifesting. Some of you guys are trying to open up your own business or have. Some of you guys are moving to the next level in your job. Some of you guys are asking for a promotion. Or some of you guys just working on your life. But you are focused. You know how hard it is to fix watches and clocks and stuff? This is someone that is focused, that has been focused since young, but didn't have the proper direction to transmute any anger or negative energy. Because as they was young, the only way they got their point across or something that they wanted or actually got someone to listen to them is only if they acted out by screaming, yelling, 
throwing stuff, fighting. And as you're growing, you're starting to calm down too. You're starting to meditate more. You're starting to talk, even if it's to yourself or spirit more. You're starting to transmute at times that energy into this thing that you're manifesting here. You've been putting a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of effort into this. I'm telling y'all, somebody, grandmother, has been watching you, has been giving you that strength. You guys may have been finding some type of strength and energy apparently out of the night and you just start working on whatever it is, whether you writing, whether you cooking, whether you're doing anything, you just feel the urge to do it at weird times out of the night. Somebody is pushing you in the spiritual realm. They know you are a leader and you are the one that's going to break the general generational curses here. They know that no matter what type of trauma you went through, you got that rage to get people to listen to you. Whatever it is that you've been manifesting here with this Eight of Pentacles is going to come into fruition. And that is because your grandmother that has passed on or that is living or whoever that was close to you that has passed on or is living that is of older age that you sit there and that you could talk to and that you feel safe with, they are going to make this happen for you because you have only stood up for yourself. You have only been acting out in such a way because you just simply didn't know how to express yourself. That's not your fault. Somebody, grandmother, or an elderly person has been really watching, I'm telling you, over you, and has been listening to you when you cry, has been listening to you, or your mother, this could be your mother or your grandmother or aunt that has passed over, but they've been listening to you silently. That's going to close the message for my collectives. The Seven of Wands. Victory and triumphant and, and, and continuing that energy. The Seven of Wands is standing up for yourself again. But now you got your tribe with you. See, you was meant to break generational curses and help others feel powerful because you stand up for yourself. Even if it's through anger, even if it's through whatever, not only do you stand up for yourself, I feel like you've always stood up for others, your friends, your families. You got into arguments, fights at schools. You've always wanted to cut school probably or do things with, with your friends. And now you are able and you are being put in a position to lead. Lead your community. Some of you guys are in a season of really gaining your soul tribe here. People that are just like you. People that need your energy. That is going to follow you in a good way and that's why the spirit is going to push that because this is something good you manifested in the world this is someone that has been probably trying to break the family curse for so long and is just sitting out there like at all with you very very proud and pleased all right i feel like this is a memory message that your ancestors and your spirit guides especially your higher self wants you to continue to stand up for yourself no matter how hard it get continue to lead others to success no matter what you got to do to make others hear you but speak your truth do not block your throat chakra for anybody and continue to work and focus on whatever it is that you're trying to do because it's not only for the benefit of you here i'm feeling like it's for the benefit of a lot of other people in this world because you're going to be some type of activist. You're going to be a leader or you are a leader. You are the head of some type of organization or you will be because of your heart. Because of you speaking the truth for others. Because you are impact and you, you want others to win here. And you're very focused on this. All right? And this spirit guide, whoever this is to you, this mother, this grandmother, this aunt, has been watching over you secretly. Okay, and has been taking note of everything that you've been doing, all the challenges that you've been going through, and that's going to be taken care of too, trust me. But they've been watching you, taking notes, evaluating your struggles and your strength, and seeing and testing you 
and you remained focused. You remained diligent. You remained interested. And now you're going to be able to allow people to follow you in the same direction. You are going to be able to lead now. You're going to be able to put on, you're going to be put on a platform to where you are the face of something. And a lot of people are going to be gravitating towards you at this time right now. That's what I have for you.